Hi, welcome again. Um, in this vi in this welcome video, I, there's a couple things I'd like to showcase. Specifically, are the items here with on the course uh, additional items here with on the course homepage. Let's go ahead and since we've looked at the welcome module and we've now looked at the course tools over here on the left, let's look specifically at the syllabus of the course. Here we have specific expectations. Um, uh, academic policy, stuff like that. It lists, lists my email, for example. Uh, one thing I would like to note, it's best for you to contact me in the general questions discussion area like we talked about previously, or you could send me a mail message within the course. So again, contact me through the general questions area first if it's something the whole class can see. If it's more private, you can contact me uh, within the course mail system. For logistical purposes, all of that email is all saved within here. or. If for some reason you need to contact me through my Webster email address, feel free to do that. Um, we, here's the course description. Here's course level um, learning outcomes that we're going to be learning within this course. Specifically, this is where you figure out the information about your textbook, the software that is recommended in this course. One thing I would like to know is make sure you notice the breakdown of how you're graded here within the course and how much everything is worth. For example, your homework is about 18% of the final course grade. Um, the final exam is only 12% of the course. The term project is the largest weighted assignment at 28%. Um, and then we also have your term project journal, which is something we're going to be doing weekly. And then we also have our website critique. Um, I'll talk more about those in later videos. Um, I'll list information about other activities, um, policy statements in terms of the weekly schedule. This is a way that you can kind of look ahead and see what's coming up in the course. Um, and then at the very bottom of the syllabus, we will have information about the term project, how specifically that you'll be graded in your term project. Some of this information is also found in the course overview as well, so it's in two different places, but it's the same thing in both places. And then we also have specifically about how you'll be evaluated in your term project. Uh, this is the evaluation sheet that I'll be utilizing to evaluate your term project. And then the last thing here is a usability questionnaire that another student in the class will be filling out based on your term project website. So that's the syllabus. Be sure that you pay close attention to it and follow it. Textbook e-reserves, we talked about this previously. This is where you can access the first three chapters of your book. Uh, this purposes of e-reserves is to provide you readings for the first two weeks of the course just in case it takes you a little bit longer to get your readings, to your textbook to come in through the mail. You can click on these and you can read them uh, within your browser, their PDF documents, or you could print them. External resources or sources. This is a great area for you to kind of go above and beyond and explore other things within the course. Or maybe even if you have questions, uh, some of your questions could be addressed here. So let me highlight a couple of these for you. Uh, Layers Magazine, this is a great resource for you to learn more things about Dreamweaver. Adobe TV, this is a great resource for you to learn more things about Dreamweaver. Adobe, Adobe TV also has specific channels for web design or web development. Uh, interesting uh, things that you'll find there. Go check those out. Adobe Cooler, we'll be playing with this resource a little bit later in the course, so I'll talk more about that later. Um, also, here's a great resource in terms of extending your HTML and CSS knowledge. Don't Fear the Internet, Lifehacker, How to Make a Website from Beginning to End, SitePoint's a great resource, uh, HTML Dog, a great place where you can get free tutorials and information about your tags and properties for CSS, Mozilla Developer Network, um, CSS Tricks, definitely check these resources out. Here's the areas where we'll be going to validate our pages of our website. And then I also have some blogs that I personally read that I think it will help you out as a future web designer. My interest a lot of times is about creativity, so in terms of creativity of web design, so definitely check out the 99% and the Barbarian Group. Um, a List Apart is also a great blog. In terms of web designers being a freelancer, this is a great blog and resource for you. And I've actually specifically provided you some specific um, uh, blog posts within that post for you to check out. Also check out the lynda.com resource. I'll talk about that more here in just a minute, but that's provided from the library and then other Webster resources. And then also on your homepage, we also have the general questions area, which we've talked about before. You can quickly pop over to the general questions area to get um, ways to ask the questions to the class where everyone will hear. And then we have the week one learning module, which I'll talk about here in just a second. So thanks for watching.